this is Monica Burns with Moroli Design Services. This is a demonstration of how to create an account in LastPass for free. You go to LastPass.com and click Login. Click Create a New Account. Add your email address. Create a master password. Over here they have the um, requirements for the password that is your master password. Make sure that you write this down someplace where you will not forget it because they do not record your master password and you need to not forget it otherwise you'll have to recreate your complete account if you can't get back into this um, account here. Click on the by completing this this form that you agree to their terms and they want you to confirm your master uh, password again. It will <clears throat> confirm your uh, account. You're going to need to get the free extension and you're going to have to add it to your browser. A small button should be up here that's um, three dots. Sometimes it'll be grayed out, other times it will be um, yellow. Mine is yellow here because I have two other LastPass accounts. But just click there, tell it OK. Once you see the browser has turned red, then you will, sometimes it will flip you back to the actual as access login screen. Other times it will, you'll need to click the login. It will say loading your sites even though you're not logged in. Just type in your email and then your password. Don't forget it. Remember, you want to remember this password. This is the master password. Click login and it pulls you into LastPass. To add a password for somebody else to use, down here you're going to want to add a site. You can add folders where you can plop in different um, Let's just create a folder. Business clients and click save. <clears throat> then within this you can add another folder. Whoops, wrong one. Add a folder and you can do client one. Make it a subfolder underneath business clients. This allows you to segregate or segment out individuals. To create an actual password, you have to add the site. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the back end of my website. So that's going to, I, I generally would go to the actual uh, URL of where I want to copy something from or give access to. So obviously I want to use the login, login uh, URL. <clears throat> and the name <clears throat> would be uh, my name. I would probably put it in a folder um, called business because I'm not going to share this with anyone. And create my username. And create the password. You can have the password show up if you want to make sure that you're typing it appropriately or you can leave it closed off so you don't see it and then you save it. The next thing you have to do is you have to share it with someone or the individual that you want to have access to. Uh, you click share and you find the recipient's email address and you have a choice of allowing the recipient to view the password or to not. Um, I always require my clients to not check this box. I, I don't want to view the password. Then you click share. And in order to do this you have to verify your email. You'll then need to go to your email and verify it. Once you have verified your email you can come back to this screen and share the password. Once your email has been verified, then you'll come back here and you'll click the share and you'll click in 
the email. Remember, you do not share the password. The recipient should not be able to view the password unless it's a, a family member. And when you click share, you won't get this message anymore, and it will indicate that you've shared it. In the other individual's account, under the sharing center, there will be a message, there will be a small message or an icon here that lights up that says that you have uh, passwords that have been shared and you will accept the password if you're the recipient. It's a very powerful application that allows you to share your passwords and access to different sites with others that you do not want to give your password to. And to share, you're just going to click and you're going to type in the individual's email address. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. You can reach me at Maroli Design Services at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.